Hello Internet, I'm Remote Leg. Remember Tinhead? Perhaps we're unfair. Perhaps we're asking too much of him. Tinhead has his uses, particularly at the mid to late game, when our empire gets large and unwieldy. In our first video on automation, we were just learning how to play, and our empire was small. I recommended shutting down most of the automation so we could have tighter control over things. With more experience, confidence grew and we shut down almost all the automation. Now our empire is large and the workload is becoming onerous. It's time to switch some automation back on and let Tinhead take more of the load. Let's automate colonization. As the game progressed, we found that we were colonizing everything to stop the AI races getting those planets. As our scouts got better, the list of planets awaiting colonization got longer and pretty soon it became a real chore to keep saying yes to every request. Let's let Tinhead take over this task. First, we check the options to automate most of the colonization work. Now, let's fine tune how we want Tinhead to proceed. Colonization, yes, do it. We especially want planets with ruins because they often have bonuses. Tinhead tends to hire too many troops, so we will keep a tight rein on that. We want a large spaceport as soon as possible. We want to assimilate the indigenous population because we're nice like that. We are not into slavery. But that's not all. We can also fine tune the buildings on our colonies. Yes, Tinhead can build all these facilities on each colony as he sees fit. It's up to us which ones we prefer, and we can prioritise them accordingly. We can also set default tax rates for colonies at different population levels, but only at a strategic level of low, medium and high. I prefer to let new colonies be tax-free until they build up their population. If we still want to keep tight control over ship design, and we should, we can at least let Tinhead deal with retrofitting our ships when we upgrade a design. Upgrade means creating new designs. Retrofit means changing our existing ships to the new designs. This means that we can automate the retrofitting of ships, especially for bases. Bases just sit around waiting for ships to come to them, so they may as well retrofit while they're doing nothing. We can also automate the upgrade and retrofitting for private ships, since we have little control over them anyway though I recommend checking the latest designs every once in a while to make sure that Tinhead is keeping them at the latest technology. I've noticed on occasion that Tinhead falls asleep and forgets to upgrade designs when new technology becomes available. Before you know it, we have fleets of rusting obsolete ships flying for the private sector. It's all very well automating this stuff, but remember to keep an eye on Tinhead. Take a look at those designs from time to time. What about the ships out in the field? Well, we can automate them too. I don't recommend automating everything, but we can certainly unload some of the more tedious tasks. While we would never trust Tinhead to control our task forces of frontline military ships, there are times when we want some fleets to patrol certain areas, acting as a police force and repelling those pesky pirate raiders. We will position these fleets, tell them where to patrol, and let Tinhead manage them. We create a fleet and decide its area of operation. Let's let them patrol Kuristar, a frontline colony just starting out. We set the fleet's home planet to our colony at Kuristar 2. Make sure there's fuel available because the fleet will need to refuel from time to time. Set the range so it doesn't stray too far from home. We will let it patrol its own and nearby systems. Remember to set the ships to automatic and we're done. We can now let Tinhead take over. Perhaps this has happened to you. You send your troop ships out to scavenge troops from nearby systems. Unfortunately, they go to a volatile system when you're not looking and steal the entire peacekeeping force. It's not long before that colony goes into revolt. The answer is to garrison troops. The simplest way is to use the troops screen just here. It shows all our troops and we can garrison them with this button. If we go to the 15th Xenox RoboGuard, we see they are displayed in green to show they are garrisoned. 
it's the same on the troops screen. Now, should an overzealous troop ship come calling for conscripts, the 15th Xenox RoboGuard will say no thanks and stay put. We can safely tell our troop ships to go looking for conscripts without jeopardising unstable colonies. This map is helpful too. It shows us where our troops are, so we can ungarrison the ones at the back of our empire and begin moving them to the front lines. Perhaps it's time to give Tin Head another chance. Not because he's become smarter, but because we have become better players of distant worlds. Click the like button or subscribe to make me happy. Seriously, it helps a lot.